Hey all you minties, this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, and join me today as I do an overview of The Art of Magic the Gathering, War of the Spark, and Tokyo Ghoul RE illustrations, both from Viz Media, so please stay tuned. And welcome back everybody, before I get started, a huge thank you to the folks at Viz for sending us copies of these art books. Now, these art books have already been released, so it's just a matter of doing a quick overview and letting you know what these contain. One of the things I was going to do really quick, though, is a size comparison, like I normally do, because the dimensions of both of these are different. So, here they are compared to the size of a standard size Tonkoban. This is Banana Fish from Viz. As you can tell, the Magic the Gathering book is quite a difference in between the sizes. And Tokyo Ghoul... Not as dramatic, but I think Tokyo Ghoul is probably the size of a standard size hardcover. Here they are compared to the size of an omnibus. This is the JLA omnibus, probably one of the biggest ones from DC, but I just wanted to focus on the height and the length. So it is as long as the JLA omnibus, just not as tall. And then the V for Vendetta book that's part of my haul for November, and that haul video will be coming out sometime this week, probably Friday. So obviously it's taller, but not as long as the magic book and compared to the size of a standard size trade paperback just using dawn of x so even well i don't know hmm maybe i was wrong maybe this tokyo ghoul art book is longer let me see something here we have the standard size hardcover of three jokers and just looking at it it looks like tokyo ghoul is longer by the way the overview of this will be coming out sometime tomorrow of Batman 3 Jokers. So it is longer, and Joker's just a little bit taller. Not sure if you can tell from that angle, but just a little bit, not very much. Now, that was a long size comparison. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be looking at the art of Magic the Gathering first. So this particular book retails for $39.99. It is a hardcover, and it does have a dust jacket. So let's look at it under the dust jacket. Looks like a physics book I used to have. Uh, but here it is under that dust jacket. You have this almost fake leather look to it, but it's the color blue. And let's look inside of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Has a stony look to the bookend pages here. The Art of Magic the Gathering, War of the Spark. Now, my knowledge of Magic the Gathering all comes from when I worked at a comic book store many years ago, quite over two decades ago, and I'm sure everything has changed since then. But after reading some of this, I gathered this is less of the art of the card game and more of, this is an actual story that has been going on. I don't know what volume this is. I want to say this is the seventh volume of this series. This is all written by James Wyatt, by the way and a bunch of different artists. That's what I gathered from here. And it's got some beautiful fantasy artwork. And like I mentioned, it's not really the art of the card game. It's literally a story going on throughout these pages with some beautiful and stunning artwork. Uh, the book has 240 pages. And like I said, it's a story. Pretty cool. Uh, now, you know, honestly, I was expecting artwork from the card game. I wasn't expecting this, so th but this is beautiful. My cards that I remember, uh, if I remember one of my favorite artists on the cards was Quentin Hoover, who was a local uh, comic book artist. He drew a local comic book here in Kentucky called Morgana X that I remember picking up quite a few number of years ago, and then he went on to do magic cards. Now, I heard somewhere that he had passed away, which sucks, because I really was a big fan of his artwork. But yes, this is exactly what you'll be getting. The paper quality is this thick, glossy paper. And this is the final book, because it does say that in the back, that this is the final book of this particular series. I had no idea Viz was even doing stuff like this, because I'm used to Viz just publishing manga or anime. Not stuff from Wizards of the Coast, if Wizards of the Coast even owns this anymore. I can't keep up. But just look at that. Beautiful painted artwork. It is gorgeous. Uh, my kids were looking at some of this. It's not too violent. It really doesn't have mature content, so I think it's for anybody that just appreciates a beautiful art book with small little stories. But this is pretty much what it is. Let's look in the back here. I don't know if there's anything extras. 
I'm used to having like all the extras in the back of these Omnis, but in the back of this is just about the author, James Wyatt, who was a senior game designer for Magic the Gathering, and he's been there since the year 2000, so 20 years. Um, as far as the build, it is sewn binding, and there's that eye. That's why you see really no gutter loss in these splash pages. Now let's look at this Tokyo Ghoul book. So here we have Tokyo Ghoul RE illustrations. Um, I have not read any of this or even watched the anime of the follow-up to Tokyo Ghoul, but this is the follow-up. This is RE or RE. Let me know in the comments down below how you all pronounce that. But it is by Sui Ishida, who is the creator of Tokyo Ghoul. And it does have a dust jacket. And here's what it looks like under the dust jacket. I really like that design, that look. You have black book or red bookend pages. And illustrations. Now, as I was flipping through here earlier, um, before I did this video, I noticed that it has illustrations from the original Tokyo Ghoul series too, not just RE or RE, like I mentioned. So, not sure what you all call it. But it has some behind the scenes things in here, as well as a Q&A towards the back. And let's keep going back here. Now, this is called the Tokyo Ghoul Zaki. I've seen it called that like overseas before it was translated here in English. So here's a little information about some of the art pieces that are collected in the before pages. And then some of the awesome artwork if you're a fan of the manga. Now this is, yes, strictly the manga artwork, whether it's covers or whether it's promotional artwork or posters, it is all from the manga, not the animated series. And just looking at some of these, man, just the use of watercolors. You all know I'm a huge fan of art books, so this right here is right up my alley. And I love the fact that there's a little commentary on each of the pieces. Just a different uh, variation of the same picture. And yeah, like I said, some of this stuff I've seen in Tokyo Ghoul before, the original series. But I have not read or picked up the follow-up series. And I need to get that box set. So I know sometimes when these box sets go out of print, they get to tend to be a little pricey. Here's some of the characters. Yeah, this is really nice. Now, the book retails for $30 and has over 278 pages. Now, the book retails for $30 and has 278 pages. Can't flip through all of it, but I just wanted to showcase some of what the artwork looks like in here. And if you've not read it, the original series is really solid. There is an anime based on the series, but I'll tend to like the manga more. And this is the kind of artwork that you'll be seeing inside. Of course, black and white because it is a manga. I believe there was a Barnes & Noble exclusive to like a collector's edition. It was an oversized hardcover. I think they only did one or two, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they followed through. But I just ended up getting the uh, first box set because I really wanted to read it after watching the anime. Oh, gosh, that was a few years ago. That was when Tina was trying to get me to watch more anime. Now I don't even have the time to do that. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's a lot of color pieces in here. More than I was expecting for 30 bucks, honestly. Oh. Yep, it's that kind of stuff. Okay, let's look in the back here to see if there's any extras. Okay, this is what I was looking at earlier. This is the Q&A. Asking Sui Ishida questions. I believe there's mention of Celine Dion in here. That's a lot. And then the back here. And that, as they say, is that. Now you can get these books from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself 
on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. Beginning Thanksgiving morning, visit their bargain bin for Black Friday deals up to 90% off cover price. New items will be added throughout the day and the rest of the holiday season. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content and the page count and the build of each of these books. Let me know in the comments down below if you've picked them up, if you're a fan of the Magic the Gathering art book series. I had no idea Viz even did those. I had no idea Viz was even doing those. Or if you're a fan of the Tokyo Ghoul series. I need to pick up that second box set. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Patreon and on Redbubble. And all of that information is in the description down below. More importantly, please, all of you, stay healthy, stay safe, and much love.